everybody welcome back to my popcorn thank you for clicking on this video if you guys are new my name is stephanie today we're gonna be talking about jojo rabbit oh, he's... Oh, no! oh god so, jojo rabbit is rated pg-13 it is considered a drama comedy it is an hour and 48 minutes long release date is october the 18th it's directed by taika watiti and it stars scarlett johansson Sam Rockwell, uh, Thompson McKenzie, Rebel Wilson, Stephen Merchant, Alfie Allen. Not only does Taika write and direct this, but he is also starring in it as Adolf Hitler. We also get two newcomers, Archie Yates, who plays Yorkie, and the fabulous Roman Griffin Davis, who does play Jojo Rabbit. Now, given the topic of the film, this movie could have definitely been a hit or a miss. So I finally remembered about the giveaway, you guys. I've been trying to do this for like the past like three videos or so, but I finally remembered. And the reason was because I literally had to write myself a little post it don't forget about the giveaway all right you guys so i'm gonna be sneaking in here from time to time throughout this review to tell you guys about this giveaway i'm not gonna put it at the end of the video because i do want you guys to see the whole video so enjoy the review now they do put this comic little twist to this horrific event that happened in human history with the nazis with the jews the whole holocaust situation well they don't actually mention the holocaust in this movie not that i recall i don't think they do i think you kind of know where they're going at one point when elsa was talking about her parents about going to a place that they never come back from and i'm assuming that that would be the camps that they're talking about i don't know if that's where they were going with it that's kind of where i went with it this was very kind of dangerous territory and i feel like taika did a really really good job throughout the whole film with this like I, it, it goes and it hits how ridiculous these people really were in this time and, and the requirements for you to be able to participate in this giveaway very simple they're just three you must be 18 years of age and older you must be a u.s resident and of course you must be subscribed to my channel so this is more of a satire type of film they really just kind of go in and show you just how ridiculous and naive and nazis were in this time how what they really thought that the jews were and what they would teach the children of how they were like horrible and how they were scaling they had horns they had the craziness craziness and it just shows you how from a young age unknowingly you are kind of programmed to hate this particular race hate this particular person hate this particular you know whoever just because this is what you were taught as a young kid you don't really necessarily know at the end why you're hating them but you just know that you're supposed to hate them and this film just kind of goes into further depth the end the message is you know we are all human and the whole film is through jojo's perspective so i really like how we kind of go instead of you know going through an adult we're going through this 10 year old naive kid who literally wants to be a nazi like that. and for the roles you of course have to like this video comment down below somewhere within this video i put a secret emoji somewhere comment down below that secret emoji so you'd be entered for the giveaway besides including the secret emoji either leave me your instagram handle or your twitter handle down below that way i have a way to contact you if you win you can put your email if you like we don't do snapchat but if that's all you have you can put that as well uh hitler who is played by taika does a fantastic job to just really play him as this goofball and i mean as the story goes on seeing that he is jojo's imaginary friend and his character throughout the film as jojo is growing hitler's character is also changing um because of jojo's perspective of how he now feels about the jews once he does find elsa you know hidden within the walls of his home and so of course once he does find out that his mom is indeed hiding this jew and that his mom is part of some sort of like secret resistance you know he then goes in trying to interrogate elsa but but you know at the end he kind of just ends up befriending her and really starts seeing her as a human person and not this like terrifying evil who's gonna hypnotize me jew which is literally what these people were thinking i mean this is just how ridiculous 
this was and I mean now what am I giving away the lucky winner will be winning a $40 AMC gift card. Good luck to everybody. Now, everybody's performance in this film, I think, was absolutely fantastic. This is Roman Griffin Davis acting debut. He is who plays Jojo, and he did a fantastic job. He really held his own. As did Archie Yakes, who plays Yorkie, who's actually Jojo's best friend, which, and this is also his acting debut. Now, for my Game of Thrones fans, Alfie Allen does have a small role in this as well, and honestly, like, low-key, he steals every scene that he is in. He does not have, like, a major role. Stephen Merchant also has just, like, one scene he's a captain and he's just kind of uh the one that just kind of randomly drops into people's houses to make sure you're not hiding any kind of jew quite honestly i would say this is probably like top five of my favorite movies of the year do i recommend for you guys to check this movie out obviously yes because i just said it's top five so yes go and check jojo rabbit out when it comes out in theaters i feel like it's totally worth your money one other thing um i'm not gonna even lie to you guys my mom did fall asleep in this movie she just couldn't get into it she really couldn't follow the story and she didn't get the jokes and i really don't want to keep anything from you guys so if my mom ever does fall asleep um, i will be telling you guys that i'm not gonna hold that back from you just know that <laughs> Now there is an opportunity to get a bonus entry and all you have to do is head over to my favorite movie every year I've been born video. I'll have it come up on top wherever it's going to come out through and I'll link it down below and comment on that video what my honorable mention was for 2004. But yeah, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!